Dan? Tell me you're not kidding. Dude, no way. Congrats, bro. What? I flew from Ireland to Cape Town to plan something huge. But first I'm gonna need a haircut, shower, and a shave. Okay, cool. Before we dive straight into the deep end, he has a pretty interesting story. After a long business trip to Kenya, I was sitting having a drink with some friends at a Mexican bar in Cape Town when I saw a beautiful brunette with a smile that immediately got my mind racing with a million dumb pickup lines. I was so drawn to this person from one quick glance, none of the pickup lines would suffice. So I pulled the waitress aside and said, please get that girl over there and her friend two tequilas. They arrived and she looked at me with excitement, started walking over and to my horror screamed, Dan! And with an inkling of her teenage smile, I remembered, Gabby, my best friend from school, Nick's sister. She had always been out of bounds. She stood in front of me with her big curious eyes and said, it's been ages, hey, yo. I haven't even seen Nick in about two years. Hope, I thought. Some hope. With a newly gained confidence, I said we should get a drink tomorrow night at House of Machines. She accepted, and boom, like an explosion, I felt my heart beat in a way it hadn't before. My smile extended an inch further up my cheek. Quite frankly, I hadn't been this excited since quitting film school. The next morning, I got a text from Nick that read, Yo, boo, drinks tonight at House of Machines. This couldn't be. What am I going to do, I thought. The bro card. The card he had pulled earlier that year. The card that meant one pass on almost anything. As I approached him that night, he said, Bru, Gab's told me about you and her going on a date. I couldn't be more stoked. Just don't f*** it up. All of that stress for nothing, and I got to keep my bro card. Since that night, it's been two and a half years. Endless laughs, a son, Joe Boy. Awkward dance moves, late nights, wins, losses, a relocation to New York, all with the most humble, intelligent, gorgeous woman. And now I've gotten to a point in my life where all I want to do is be with this one person. Essentially, I want to ask Gabs to marry me in three days time. This is the biggest commitment I could possibly make and it's, it's quite honestly, it's scaring the shit out of me. Therefore, I wrote myself a list, uh, a non-screw up list, a list of to-dos within the next three days before I asked for Gabs' hand in marriage. Step one on the do not screw up list is to film the entire process in a respectful and non-invasive manner. What does that mean? This engagement or proposal is something that's super personal, something that's a very special moment for both myself and for Gabs, and I don't in any way want to exploit that. I do, however, want to capture it as I'm a filmmaker, so I'm going to make a film out of it, but it needs to be real. I really want to capture the essence of what it is like to go through this process. And to do this successfully, you'll need the following. Tippics, black gaffer tape, scissors, fabric pen, random fabric decorations, fabric glue, super glue, action camera, hipster moon bag, and window shade. Okay, I introduced you the brew bag. Thank goodness for hipsters because this is actually now an acceptable accessory. I am busy filming you. Take it out. And then uh, to all the self-proclaimed film critics, I see you. I'll be using this camera where I can, where it's non-invasive, just because the quality of the brew bag just isn't the same. So in between this, yes, there will be quite a lot of footage that doesn't have the netting over it. That is because it was shot on my GH5. Good morning, my fine sir. How are you, bro? I wanna tell you something special. Sweet, bro. Number two on the list. Ask her brother and father for their blessing. And then I'm also going to combine it with number four, which is ask her friends and tell my parents. Well, that's if Point number two goes okay. Describe it out in three words. Mellow, mysterious, and serious. Fuck <laughs> me, that's confusing. <laughs> Nick completely ruined the surprise when I arrived. Right. 
Like you sent me a message literally saying that you had something special to tell me you flew down to Cape Town like bro, obviously. The main purpose of tonight is to actually ask Nick's dad. What do you think he's gonna say? <laughs> bro, that's <laughs> gonna be <laughs> between you good, two, eh? <laughs> What should I do for dinner tonight? Oh bro, that's easy. Steak, chocolate coated peanuts, red wine. I burnt the steak, therefore I had to book a table at a local steak restaurant instead. I want to be asked to have his hand in marriage next week. What? Yeah. And obviously out of I want to be out of respect of yours and Nick's permission. I really not. I really <laughs> Okay, where do I even begin here? That was the most cringeworthy, awkward position I've ever been in in my entire life. Basically, Nick and his dad decided they were gonna screw with me. Nick had already told his dad about the Gabby situation prior to us meeting. I get it, but not funny. Are you tired of being happy? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking of proposing to Gabs. Gabs. Lime. What? Uh, Bri, I'm gonna propose to Gabs on Tuesday. What? Dude, what? This is perfect. I'm so happy. <laughs> Dad, I've decided I'm gonna propose to Gabs. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Now that I can move on, I need to get a ring in less than 48 hours. You can come in literally right now. You can come in right now, yeah. I can literally come. Okay, cool. Where, where are you based? You got a thing for me. So I begin to. Good, bro. Thank you so much. This has all of a sudden become really real. I've got a ring. For those interested, this is a platinum band and there's mini diamonds the whole way around. And then. Big one on top. <laughs> Step number five is to involve Joe Boy. Firstly, I'm gonna have to steal his favorite pink jacket. Don't tell mommy. And then I'm gonna take the ring, I'm gonna put in this dope little leather pouch, and then take this blue little material pouch, apply this leather pouch inside it, and then attach it to this pink jersey. It looks good. You got this, boy. In exactly 45 minutes, Gabby's gonna be walking through that door. We're on the sixth and final objective on the do not screw up list, which I happen to lose along my missions today because it's been really fucking frantic and I'm freaking out. But this section is called surprising Gabby, which is the part that I'm actually gonna get down onto my knee and propose. So it's gonna go something like this. I'm gonna put one camera up there, another one hiding in this little bush. And my friend Luke is going to keep Joe locked in this room until Gabs and myself have been sitting down there for one minute. With 10 minutes to spare, it's time to cue the love song playlist. <sighs> Let's do this. What do you think about my... <laughs> Sit here, baby. Baby. Oh, boy. Hello, boy. <laughs> Open the pouch. Try not to cry. <laughs> Gabrielle Esterhazen, the love of my life. Thank you. 
I fucking love you so much, Gabs. Will you marry me? It seems I left my heart outside your door. It seems I left my heart outside your door. And this is where the whole home inside is alright. I swear that I feel I'm fine And this is where the hole on me inside It's alright I swear that I feel I'm fine I didn't wanna tell you so many lies Ooh. But I waited for darkness to fill my life Why are we lying down like this? Because it looks cool. You like it? Yeah. I think you've earned the right to sign out this movie. Okay, here it goes. What's up, Brew? Because you always do that. No, but. Brew. Oh, thanks for watching, Brew. Oh, thanks for watching, Brew. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and all the things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. And you want to marry me if I sound like that? Well, I guess that pretty much covers it. Also, you can follow me on Instagram to keep up with me pretty much daily there. As well as Twitter. And then, don't forget, you're awesome, bro. And thank you for following us on this journey. you have anything else to say? See you on Wednesday, bro. And this is where the whole on me inside It's alright I swear that I feel I'm fine And this is where the whole on it's alright, I swear that I feel I'm fine I didn't want to tell you so many lies Ooh, But I waited for darkness to fill my light When I ask good to see you but just want to tell you that